people laying on, on the ground, deceased. Cars are flipped over on the lot. Look, the truck is flipped over. We have cars down here. New at 5 tonight, the terrifying aftermath we are seeing for the first time after a man was hit and killed by a suspected drag racer. Good evening, everyone. I'm Claire Kellett. I'm Courtney Bryant. Family members tell us James Winston was hit in a parking lot while walking to a convenience store on the corner of North Grand and Kossuth Avenue. News 4's Emma Hogue is live there tonight. Emma, it was a very violent crash. Courtney Claire, you can still see some of the damage. Take a look. You'll notice skid marks and pieces of concrete over there from when that driver plowed through. Over to my left, you'll notice a makeshift memorial. Family members have been adding to that throughout the day. Across the street is a convenience store. That's where family says James was headed to buy his sister a Pepsi when that other driver took his life. We used to just joke around together and he was just a fun, loving person. A man who was rarely photographed, but always had a smile on his face. James Winston's niece, Babette Anderson, is now clinging to this picture, remembering one of her closest family members. He had a very giving spirit. He was always willing to help people. Anderson says Winston was in a busy parking lot, headed towards this convenience store off Kossuth and North Grand. Look at this whole disaster. Video from a witness shows the moments after a suspected drag racer lost control, hitting and killing Winston. All it would have took is for him to think about his actions and my uncle could still be here. News 4 captured the aftermath of the violent crash. Investigators say the suspect hit two parked cars before getting to another car and leaving the scene. Authorities found the getaway car and took the suspect into custody shortly after the crash. I just couldn't believe it. I just. And still, it's still hard to believe. Anderson says Winston's brother died of cancer in November, the second funeral she's now planning in less than five months. And we just went through this, you know, uh, paying for my other uncle's funeral in November. So it's like we're right at it again. A makeshift memorial sits feet from where Winston took his last breaths. But four days later, this family is still asking the same question. You didn't think about it. You just did it. But well, why did you do it? Now, I did check in with police just a few hours ago. So far, no charges have been filed against this suspect. But as you heard, this funeral is putting a very big financial burden on this family. If you'd like to help with expenses, we have a link on our KMOV News app. Live in North City tonight, Emma Hogue, News 4.